This is a modular, rugged smartphone that even has night vision. I'm Ben from Authentech, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Doji S90. Now, if you haven't heard of Doji before this, they aren't massive like some Samsung or iPhone brands, but they've been around for a little while, and they are well known for making ultra durable, rugged phones. This S90 has a starting price around 330 bucks, and then sliding upwards depending on the different module packs you can add on. This is in that budget-friendly zone, which I like to see. The modules are magnetic easily and quickly snapping on the back actually seems to have some sweet potential let's dive right in and check it out starting with a quick unboxing they sent me the s90 phone plus the extended battery and night vision camera modules the s90 looks and feels well built it's hefty and beefy and there's something uniquely refreshing holding a thick but super durable phone it's pretty uncommon nowadays for example when I hold my $1,200 iPhone 10 I'm treating it like a fragile little glass slipper as I'm terrified of carrying around this thing without a case because it feels like if I bump into a feather it's just gonna chatter and then cost me a kidney how did we even get to this point I digress the S90's overall design looks pretty cool. Has that construction job site look to it with reinforced corners and durability written all over it. This would be perfect for those who are rough and tough on their phones. Speaking of durability, the S90 has a rating of IP68 and IP69K, which means protected against close range, high pressure, high temperature resistance, plus dust and other intense conditions. Don't take me to court over it, but I think this could be one of those sort of phones that you could drop over and over again and it'll just keep going. It's like having a waterproof OtterBox Defender case built right in. I like the physical buttons around the outside edges. Again, could be perfect for those with gloves often on. Power, volume, rocker, dedicated camera shutter button, and even a custom shortcut button that you can map to a various of apps and functions like flashlight, which which uses four LED flashes, so it's uber bright, or open SOS, underwater camera, or any other app you'd like. On the front is a 6.18 inch LCD display with a resolution of 2246 by 1080. Inside specs six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, plus expandable up to another 256 gigs, face unlock and rear fingerprint scanner, a massive 5,050 milliamp hours battery, plus one of the modules is an expandable battery pack of another 5,000 milliamp hours, turning the S90 into a 10,000 plus milliamp hours beast this could possibly go days and days on just a single charge oh and it also sports wireless charging as well very sweet it's currently running Android 8.1 with a slightly skinned doji interface I like some of the tweaks and functions baked right in like the status bar display you can either show the notch or hide it with a black bar there's motion gestures like turn over the phone to silence the caller and other helpful little tidbits on the back there's a dual camera setup one 16 megapixel and the other 8 megapixel. I don't believe the secondary is a wide angle or telephoto lens, but instead used to help with portrait blur effects. Speaking of photos, make sure you're following me on my Instagram for all my behind the scenes shots. On the front is an 8 megapixel f2.0 90 degree camera. I went out shooting by the lake and the first time I stepped outside, it was a freezing 30-ish something Fahrenheit degrees outside and the poor camera lens fogged up underneath the glass. This was a little concerning at first since it's supposed to be a durable phone that can withstand all sorts of tough weather conditions, right? I found it a little strange. I went back into my car, warmed up for a bit, and then headed back outside, and it worked just fine the second time, so that's good to see. Here's some sample photos and video clips that I captured, and overall, this is one area that we have to set a healthy expectation. Often with budget phones, we can't expect the very best in camera quality, and honestly, the images aren't terrible by any means. It's one of those phones that just gets the job done and it's not gonna be flashy or trying to show off. The video maxes out at 1080p resolution, and I found that autofocus was hunting back and forth a little too much. Dynamic range and colors are pretty okay, and here's what you can expect. Honestly, some of the shots turned out a lot better than I was expecting. This is a front-facing video and audio test. How does the audio sound and how does the video look? It was pretty windy out there, so unfortunately wind reduction and volume recording is a little rough, but again, for a selfie camera, video and photos, here's what you can expect. 
Besides, if you are working some rough and tough job, I'm not sure how many selfies you're gonna be snapping every day. Now moving on to one big feature I was excited to test out, the night vision module. It specs a Sony 131 degree ultra wide angle lens with 12 times photo sensitive boost as they say. I love the ultra wide angle and even tried using it in the daytime, but everything was blown out and it doesn't seem it can be used in bright light, which is sort of a bummer could have been a nice dual purpose. However, inside with normal interior lighting conditions, it worked just fine. Doji made it just so easy and effortless to snap these modules on and off, strong magnets pull it right into place, and they're strong enough to even hold on like a pop socket. Oh, and it works as a nice stand for watching YouTube videos as well. Launch the night vision camera app and it's pretty simple in here. There's a capture photo or video record button, and under settings there's brightness, contrast, flash, camera sound and resolution, either 720 or 1080p. Camera quality and res isn't amazing by any means, but produces some fun and impressive results. All right, so this is an ultra low light indoor test of this night vision camera. I'm recording on the Pixel 3 here. As we close the door, let's switch over and see how they compare. Pixel 3, can you see anything? Look at that, the night vision's picking up the infrared on the baby cams, that's super cool. Sure, it's super noisy and grainy and stuff, but it can see more than the naked eye can, which is pretty incredible. The Google Pixel 3 is king of low light photography and just look at how they stack up. Now sure, it's grainy and can't see in complete darkness, but I'd say it can often see more than what the human eye sees, which I found impressive. I'm also not exactly sure what technology they're using inside this module, but it could see the invisible infrared lights coming from the baby cam, so that was pretty neat. Oh, and feature requests, if we could see a thermal vision camera module down the road, that would be sweet. They also offer digital walkie-talkie modules, which could be good for certain industries, and reminds me of those old push-to-talk Nextel chirping days. And could make sense for security personnel or maybe a fleet of truck drivers. It works on that 400 to 480 millihertz band with long distance and no network service needed. Unfortunately, I didn't receive this module to test. One other module they offer, there's a gamepad with a joystick and zero delay buttons. If you're really into mobile gaming, this could be helpful. So overall, I think the target user is one who's looking for a budget friendly, ultra durable phone with some possible add-on modules. Like maybe you're a backpacker and an add-on battery pack plus radio could be used for emergency situations, I don't know. There's a lot of people who are rough and tough on their phones every single day and imagine getting your phone all nasty, maybe from a construction site and you could just power wash it clean at the end of the day, that's pretty sweet. Either way, if you wanna check out more info, all the links will be down below. And if you're into smartphone reviews, consider subscribing for more tech videos posted every single week. Until next time, let's live authentic.